This is a semi-tank DPS build that specializes in inflicting area of effect damage. It is a good starter build for PvE that lets you grind your way to endgame by allowing you to deal with hordes of enemies. There'll be 5 sections in this video. Weapon Combination Attributes Skill Point Distribution Weapon Mastery Point Path Perks and Equipment Combination Strength and Weaknesses First Section Weapon Combination For weapons, use Great Axe and Hatchet Combination Great Axe Attribute is Strength Hatchet Primary Attribute is Strength And the Secondary Attribute is Dexterity Although the hatchet's secondary attribute is dexterity, your attribute stat priority is strength and constitution. Because if you are swarmed by enemies and your constitution stat is low, you'll easily be killed. Second section. Attributes skill point distribution. For this section, there'll be three steps you'll encounter. Starter point is from level 1 to 40, the mid game is from level 41 to 55, and the end game is from level 56 to 60. For starters point, from level 1 to 40 you'll get 105 attribute points and spend all your attribution points on strength. So now your strength attributes are 110 and you gain strength bonuses. Those bonuses are plus 15% damage to melee weapon light attacks, plus 20% damage to melee weapon heavy attacks, plus 10% mining speed, plus 20 encumbrance. For mid game, from level 41 to 55 you'll get 60 attribute points. Spend your 45 attribution points on the constitution and your 15 attribution points on strength. So now your strength attributes are 125 and your constitution attributes 50. Now you gain new constitution bonuses. All health consumables are now 20% stronger, and your logging speed has increased by 10%. From level 56 to 60 you'll get 25 attribute points and spend all your attribution points on strength. So now your strength attributes are 150 and you gain strength bonuses. Those bonuses are plus 50% stamina damage from melee weapons light and heavy attacks. Also, you decreasing 10% in weight of mind items. Third section. Weapon mastery point path. For the great axe mastery point follow this path. For the hatchet mastery point follow this path. Fourth section. Perks and equipment combination. We'll already tell you that your stat priority is strength and constitution. So, for your equipment use heavyweight types of equipment and use barbarian stats. Because the barbarian's primary attribute is strength, and the secondary attribute is constitution. This allows you to endure more damage. When you are already level 60 and both your weapon already reach level 20, change your equipment to a void and heavy set. This will give you a bonus of 125 constitutions in total. Last section. Strength and weaknesses. This build is good if you are against multiple mobs and gives you a high damage output. But if you are not prepared, you can be easily swarmed by the enemy, and your movement options are limited because of all the weight you carry. Here's a tip to overcome this, don't use dodge. But use block instead because heavyweight gives a 15% bonus to block. So now you know what is the best build is for PvE. Go try it yourself, and comment below what build you want to know the most.